last time on Mutants and Masterminds. Uh, Derek and Simone had been held captive by an unknown military organization for what they learned later was, had been three months long. They were eventually released out into, out into the public to try and find their wayward Robin, all while given a stipulation that they had three days before the toxins and the, the food they had been feeding them will kill them. And they needed to accomplish their mission before that, and receive their antidote before that happened. Robin, in the meantime, had gone off on her own and managed to convince an entire church to change their sermons to accept superpowered people in order to try and bring them into the fold and br basically bring up the idea that superpowered people are the superiors and basically should be the ones running things and be worshipped as gods. Okay, and then we'll, go, we'll just have everybody go around the table real quick and just give a brief description of your person and your superpowers. So, I guess we'll start counterclockwise. So, let's hear about Robin. Okay. So, Robin is basically your typical Instagram, Twitter model, whatever the kids are doing these days. Gotten her illusionary superpowers so she can create illusions. Pretty much with any indication to sight, hearing, and touch for a duration of an hour and at a very, a pretty good range. She basically only desires recognition, popularity, and to die with a good-looking corpse. Admirable. <laughs> <laughs> Simone Simple, a 30-something French descendant living in uh, New Orleans. His parents built a great multi-million dollar fortune from uh, a line of shrimping trawlers. Uh, Simone likes to party. Uh... He's kind of this uh, playboy, billionaire, Cajun philanthropist. Uh, until he was struck with the power of remote sensing. Uh, now gaining the ability while in a trance-like state, usually onset by uh, drugs and alcohol. He can, uh, at a worldwide range, remote sense a location or uh, see through a person's eyes. Uh, it's kind of like a, kind of like a partying Professor X. That's what I like to think of him. Yeah. Uh, Derek Dufresne uh, is a 20-year-old uh, college student who is on a basically a track and field scholarship. Came from a simple town up in Oregon, li raised mostly by his father since his mother died in, when he was young. Um, after the events of a party that uh, Simone was holding, he gained the powers of light control that allows him to basically um, affect and move all of the photons within a two mile radius. He can make things darker by pulling the light into him or he and focus that basically into um, laser blasts or and working and also working towards the idea of almost like solid constructs of light. Okay, and so far, uh, yeah, all of our heroes, sort of heroes, I don't know what to call you guys. You're not very heroic. <laughs> um, hey now. I'm making people come out from hiding. I'm helping their confidence and starting a race war. <laughs> that sounds about right. You uh, ripple nipple bitch. <laughs> <laughs> These guys don't have any race. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, our heroes were hanging out at a barbecue when a great flash of light hit the planet, giving random folks superpowers. Uh, they've since used their powers for such good as uh, investigating uh, a mass murder at a bar, uh, at which point they decided to kill a cop, uh, blind another one for life. Uh, two of them, our friends Simone and Derek, have both gone into a secret governmental agency and been co-opted to help them. And, well... Robin is just trying to get famous by making a super church exactly what she wants it to be. I tried to find them. I couldn't. I'm like, well, I guess they're dead. So time to find another means of living because the how government's still you, on my ass. How long did you look? I'd say a week. A week? That's fair. I, was like, uh, I mean, to be fair, we did not understand that we had been gone for three months. We had been in and out of, con we had been drugged in and out of consciousness. 
that entire time. Yeah, you know, she gave it a week before she went and found some weird D and D nerds who thought she was a prostitute, and then tried to see if they had superpowers and realized they were just, you know, playing mutants and masterminds at some table. I was gonna put some trackers on some supers if I could find them to see if I could figure out where they went, but then I just kind of lost track of what I was trying to do, and I needed money. Do do we know how to play this game? Because we're supposed to be superheroes, and instead <laughs> we're Instagram models and criminals. <laughs> <sighs> You know, we're Instagram models, drug abusers, and inadvertent murderers. <laughs> I don't know killer. if that's a thing of we don't know how to play the game. I think it's just that you guys are terrible people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not. I'm playing a character. I'm not playing myself. <laughs> hey, I'm devoted. My character's <laughs> devoted to Christianity now. Of course. As a lot. Is that what happened? You went out and got saved? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's helping to save other people. Of course. She's getting superheroes out of the closet. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the super closet. Yeah. With their super suits on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tom Fair Cruise enough. is stuck in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> and then she pulls out her gun. Be careful what you say about Tom Cruise. He will find us no matter where we are. That's fine. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I mean, I can always He's take... He's a mummy, right, he? See, that's a great thing. This can be edited out. <laughs> you can always convert the church to Scientology. Now, Scientology is who's, who will come for us. <laughs> Tom Cruise, maybe not. Scientology, <laughs> absolutely. Science has always been there for me. Yeah. Trust the science. That's what Fauci's been saying for months. And so, like, I joined the Church of Scientology. I got a perfect blue on my spectrometer. Oh. The fuck? Well, this changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> what don't, don't you know how the church of scientology works i didn't think what do they put your blood in a spectrometer no, no well they <laughs> they've got some weird machine that you like hold on to and then it gives you a rating on how clear you are and what? then like you've got a color rating and that's then you, not how the spectrometer what i just threw out magenta a, a, i just threw out a word spectrometer happened to be it but they do have a real machine that i do i believe that for. part i just yeah, it counts your spectrometer is kind yeah. of like a you, know, you put some liquid <laughs> in there with the reaction it it, it 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 determines the color based on a number on the spectrometer scale <laughs> i'm like sitting here thinking like are they taking your blood are they taking your spit well, what's see, happening you cut the head off a chicken and you let it run around a big it, we'll see they got a big dance floor with different uh names. different colors yeah, on it colors yeah on the board wherever the chicken falls dead <laughs> and you gotta raise it rise chicken rise yeah if it falls dead there was that one chicken that had its head chopped off and lived for like two weeks or no maybe it was two years no uh, six months was it six months? It six didn't months. live very long. It lived very long for something without a head. That's why I don't trust it chickens. Lived. The definition of live here, I think, is very thin. It's it was alive. <laughs> it was, yeah. In the fact that its organs were functioning, it was capable of movement still. Everything and digestion worked. of food for and, and digestion of food for proteins and nutrients. It's like, about as alive as like when you kill a snake, but its body still moves and reacts, but like for a very long period of time. Six months is a very crazy long amount of I time mean, for you. Trying body to say to... that just because it's not alive, just because it doesn't have a brain attached to it, there's plenty of ex if things that are alive that don't have brains. The big thing is, is if the neurons can operate separately, because like octopi, mm -hmm. like octopods are that way. It's so like octopus. Every like every cell actually has its own, or yeah, has its own neurons that fire off. So if you chop off its tentacle. That part of the tentacle that's chopped off still technically has all of the motor, like all of the functions of like a brain in a way. It just doesn't have anything to sustain itself. Steve, I'm going to keep you alive when you're a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> you're technically alive, so you know, you can just lay in bed. You're, you're, the organs are going. Mm -hmm. You know, considering the fact that I've already got a friend who's uh, vowed that if I ever die, he's going to raise me as a corpse and then just, you know, be like a. Uh, Shaun of the and Shaun of the Dead, just you know, chain me up in the in the shed and play video games for the rest of eternity for the rest of my rotting eternity. I think I'll go the clean taxidermy way, just taxidermy your friend. <laughs> yeah, you could have me posed up in the corner like a bear, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll even go get like a bear skin and drape it over you, but not like oh, like it's not like oh you're inside of it. It's just kind of draped over. So from behind, maybe they think it's a bear, but when they get to the front, it definitely it's is. It's just me with my hands up. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'll take your coat. <laughs> oh, and then just like Roadhouse, you can fall on some dude who's trying to shoot me. 
I'll save you from beyond the grave. <laughs> um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs>